everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's like a Monday. Hope everyone had a beautiful long weekend. The cool weather seems to be here for a little bit, which is spectacular. Working on some fun offerings for everybody. And we are back in the Zoom room this Saturday morning for a two-hour Kundalini extravaganza. We will be working our manifestation muscle. Yep, we'll be working on manifesting. I'll also be chatting about a 40-day manifesting play shop I'm going to be launching on September 21st. So if you want to be part of that, be on the lookout for information on how you can register. 40 days of manifesting. We're going to do all kinds of different techniques that will teach you how to manifest so you can keep manifesting after the 40 days is over. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited about that. Now let's see what the cards have for us today. What is our energy that we should be working with, aware of today? What do we need to know? Financial constraints. Financial constraints. How does that make you feel? Notice the empty, empty cupboard. Some people could be feeling some of this right now. But if we stay in this space, we're going to use this of, as a place of not wanting to be. If we stay in this space of feeling that financial constraint, we're going to keep bringing more of that into our lives. So I was literally just watching Joe Dispenza on Jay Shetty's podcast. And they were talking about how we have to move from a space of feeling as if. That if we're in the space of, oh, my bills are adding up, you're going to stay in that space, right? So, with this card, this is our reminder to get out of the space, to stop feeling those financial constraints. Even if they're on us, we need to pull ourselves out of it and start feeling as it would be if we had everything that we needed. It's a practice. I know it's not that easy. But, it's what we should be thinking about with our financial constraints. So, if you're in that constant state of worry, you're not helping yourself. You're actually just creating more worry. And I saw this beautiful um, post a couple weeks ago that said, worry is the misuse of your imagination. Because your imagination creates reality, right? And if your imagination is creating your reality and all you're doing is worrying, guess what? All you're creating is more worry. So you have to recognize, see where you are, acknowledge it, but then you have to move out of that space. And only you can do that. And it takes work. It's a practice. It's a practice. That's why so many people are like, do you meditate in the morning? Do you journal? Do you write things down? Do you future cast? It's so we can reprogram the silly monkey mind of ours because we don't even realize that it's been programmed for the last however many years you've been alive. Every time your parents say something to you, you turn on a tele television, it's all programming you. All right, so we have the traveler. Move in a new direction. Move in a new direction. So maybe there are some financial constraints, right? And then the traveler is showing up and saying, hey, look around. Maybe you need to change direction, change course, change something, do something differently to allow those financial constraints to move. Maybe there is a different path that you're supposed to be taking. What does that look like? Have you asked yourself? Have you asked yourself, why am I where I am? And then ask yourself, where do I want to be? And then the last question, what is getting in the way? Right? If you don't know where you are and what's getting in your way or where you're going, you're going to stay in the same spot that you're in. So, traveler, new direction. Maybe it is time for you to take a new direction in your life. Maybe a new job. Maybe a new place to live. Maybe a new city. Who knows? As, Sarah, as Stella sits here staring at me, maybe a dog. Who knows? Whatever that new direction is. But... With that first card of financial constraints, maybe if we change direction, change perspective, things will start to change in our life. All right, 
keepers of the light, what do you have to go along with our traveler moving in a new direction? Horus, the cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So this goes with the traveler so beautifully, right? New direction. What is the new direction? And then Horus shows up, letting us know that your thoughts are magnetic. In case you forgot, you're a big magnet, and everything that you're putting out is coming back to you. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Can you allow the changes to occur? Can you start changing your thoughts so you're actually attracting to you what you want that will help clear up this financial constraint? You have the power to do it. I mean, sure, we've all been programmed that we don't have the power. And that's why it's so hard as we get older to change our mindset, to start refocusing, to change direction, to move in a new direction. Because for the last however many years, we've been told one thing that has totally been false. So you don't have to suck. You were not born to suck. You were born to be amazing. Accept that. Move in a new direction. Your thoughts are magnetic. What are you thinking of? What are you birthing into creation with your thoughts? Let's see what the rebels have for us to go along with this. Oh, and our cosmic connections. Conscious connections. Conscious connections. Who in your life can you connect with that can help you change direction? That can help you change your thoughts. That can you can team up with to create something beautiful. This card keeps coming up. Keeps coming up. This is not the time to be doing things alone. It is time to get your soul tribe, your soul team, and start creating the life that you want. Find those conscious connections and start creating. It's an interesting pool today. Interesting set of cards. Financial constraints. Stop worrying. Move in a new direction. Your thoughts are magnetic. And then check out those conscious connections. Allow your soul team, your soul tribe to show up. Yeah, just normal humans. Allow them to show up. Create space in your life for no, new people to enter into your life to help you out. To help you move in that new direction. To help you redirect your thoughts. Alright, starseeds. Let's see what you have to round out the reading for the day. One last piece of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the collective. What do we have? Ah, oh, my favorite. This came out this weekend. Uh, portal. Doors opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. The portal. The doors are opening. The doors are opening. Which is so great to go with Horus, the cosmic gateway, right? Portal. Doors are opening. Wild card. You get to decide. Your thoughts are magnetic. What are you choosing? What are you creating? What are you deciding? Who can help you bring it into life, right? And you're being asked to move in a new direction so you can clear up your financial constraints. See how that all comes right back to the beginning. You know, we may open up our cupboard and say, shit, how am I going to get some food? And we focus on this. But really, if we focus on this portal, right? You decide. What do you want to create? Allow your thoughts to be magnetic, to bring into your life exactly what you want. Know that maybe you have to move in a new direction. You have to change things up. And then look around for the people that can help you do this. You don't have to do it alone. There are a lot of people out there that you probably connect with that also want to break out of the matrix and start doing something. Share your thoughts, ideas, things with your friends and see what happens. Maybe there's someone else in your life that's like, shit, I want to do that too. We should do it together. Be on the lookout for those cosmic connections. The door is opening, 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 if you're ready to walk in. Are you ready to walk into that portal? Are you ready to make change? Are you ready to move into a new direction? Your thoughts are magnetic. What are you focusing your thoughts on? Focus them on what you want, what you desire, and allow it to come to you. That was a fun one this morning. I like those cards. Feel good about everything. I am uh, working on some new info, some new online offerings that will be coming this Saturday. Two hours, we're back in the Zoom room. We are doing all kinds of manifesting goodies. On September 21st, I'm starting a 40-day manifestation play shop. 
if you want to be part of that be on the lookout registration should be out either later today or tomorrow and that is going to be like a bunch of zoom classes a bunch of manifesting tips and tricks and we're going to get together as a group and we're going to support other one and we're going to manifest the shit out of things it's going to be a lot of fun that starts on september 21st be on the lookout registration should be open really 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 soon thank you deborah thank you thank you all for being here i love and appreciate you all have a beautiful day and i will see you tomorrow